Hello, hello, people. We are back in Breath of the Wild. Uh, let's try this again. Hello, hello, people. We are back in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Switch. Carrying on basically where we left off. I know I didn't really explain it in the video. Basically, what we are doing is we've been tasked to go around to all of these things and unlock skills from the wall. This is the penultimate one. We have one more on the other side of the ice field over there somewhere. But first, I want to whack this a load and just make it yeet off into the distance. And goodbye. Whee! Now, okay, it's just deleted. Cool. Um, I kind of want to save the... Um... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's an almost broken torch. A crook leaf, apparently that's a weapon. A throwing spear. Let's use a Traveler's Claymore. So we, yeah, we've just basically got to get to the other one, which is over in the snow. However, it's cold in the snow, so we have got some lovely chilli stew. Stew's made of chilies. it's not cold stew. And, yeah, I can't actually remember the way. I think it's just we go this way eventually. Okay, I'm guessing whatever we're, skill we're about to get is going to let us walk on water somehow. That's probably not true. Ken Namut Shrine. Let's do this. Ken Namut has offered a trial. The Cryonis trial. Okay, so that's something to do with freezing. But we've already got stop time, which is cryo stuff as well. Let's go find out what this actually does. We're in the middle of the ice desert. It's got to be something to do with ice. Cryo cold, maybe? So are we going to freeze the water and then walk on it to get the box? Who knows? However, there is water right next to us. And we have got, create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Build ice pillars that are very stable. They can be used as stepping stones or obstacles. Okay. Right. Let's equip our new lovely ability. Aim underfoot. Ah. Okay, that's impacting it. Whee! Cool. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, let's go have a look up here. How do we... You gonna do it? Come on. Okay, that is nothing up there. Um, how do we get through here? Let's just do this. Nope. How do we get through here? Can we poke the lanterns? Nope. Oh my god, why am I such a dumbass at puzzles in games? How do I crouch? Okay, we can't crouch under there. Oh my god, get up, Link. Can I aim it underneath there and use it to break the thing? 
Yeah, ah, we lift it. There we go. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh, weapons just broke. Oh, that was close. Run away. Ooh. That wasn't fun. That was not fun. I didn't like that. Um, okay, we don't go that way. But we do go this way to get the box. So we go like... Whoop. There we go. Well done, Meg. I'm so bad at games like this. A traveller's spear. Wonderful. Right. That's where we came from. Oh, oops. Ah, uh, now we're supposed to work out how to get up there. So what we do is... We're going to put that one... There. Like that. Hey! First time. He says, and then plug us up the jump. Now. I still haven't been able to work out what those doodle -doodle 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 things are. Oh, and I worked out how... There we go, we completed that. I worked out how we use these spirit orb things. We have to go to a monastery thing to pray. And then we can level up. A True trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Cool. In the name of Goddess Julia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. I do kind of miss Hyrule having people. Not a big fan of this massive wasteland. Yay, a spirit orb and we're rocking our switch gear. Yay. Cool. May the goddess smile upon you. Cool, can I go? My dude? Oh, you've dissolved. Sucks to be you, bro. We done? Oh yeah, it yeets me back up to the top, doesn't it? Forgot about that. In three, two, one. Now, is that... Whoa. Yep, I uh, about to say now, is the flying guy about to appear? A little bit of orbs. Cool. Extraordinary. That means it is finally time. I need time to te me to tell you everything, but first, let me take a selfie. Imagine X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. You're so useless. But the two lines connect to the shrines across there. I will be waiting. I actually hate this guy. And yes, he just dissolved, which is very fascinating. But how do I get my map? Was that it? All of those orbs and that was... Ah, oh, that was a bit underwhelming. Where is he? Blessing of the goddess has made you much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here quickly. Oh, he's there. He just blended in with part of the ceiling. How the crap am I supposed to get on the ceiling? Oh, probably using this ladder. Cool. Was this here before? If it was, I'm disappointed in myself for missing it the first time around. Whee! Okay, so yeah, it's a tiny little extra bit of stamina for our four orbs. Alright. Do your worst. <laughs> well done, What's your Daniel. fabulous story? Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. Please be I Zelda. Was King Rome Bosporamus Hyrule. Ah, huh. good for you. I was the last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> so he's a ghost, because he's floating. The oh. Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo. A century ago, it was then that my life yeah, was dead. taken away from me. And since that time, 
Here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. Heck, it's Zelda on the left and us on the right. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions. That's us in the middle. A name that would solidify their unique I think. Oh, so that's five, not four. Her appointed knight and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. That's why the things try and kill me. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Us. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived. To face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself 
and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that but I why? Save, what I will that do for him? I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Cool. Well, at least he hasn't given me a load of work to do. Hmm. Uh, thanks for the paraglider. Thank you. How have you got a solid item when you are literally a ghost? Oh, I guess he did also turn himself solid. Right. I think that's it. Told you everything I can. Cool. Go away now. I want to carry on playing the game. You must save her rule. Right, what are we getting in here? Can it be our lovely sword? Soldier's bow. You know, that's pretty cool. Inventory is full. I found one of the things. Uh, the wind guides you. Okay, so we're doing something with wind now. Unless we're not actually going to be allowed to learn this one yet. Oh, but if we press X... Hmm. Is it going to actually let us do this? Because we're not technically here, I just kind of found the way. So it hasn't given us anything to update our tablet with. I think maybe we've come here too early. But there's a box we can loot. Um, no. Let's put that away. Okay, we can't find that. Hmm. Hang on. Uh, is it magnetic? Okay, cool. So, we've come here, but we can't actually do anything yet. Unless I'm an idiot and we can just whip out our paraglider in front of this. Give it a go. We can! Okay. So this is just a puzzle thing to get through to get more spirit orbs. This isn't actually... Ah, and that's how we get back. So let's go. And we've got a lovely ball there to stop us. Awesome. And hello you. Let's go. So we don't get pushed off the end, and boom. Hello. We did it. I'm quite proud of that. It only took me a lot longer than it should have done. Yay. Overcome this trial speaks the promise of a true hero. Cool. And you gave me an orb. Thank you. Wonderful. May the goddess smile upon you. Cheers. And that's it for that one. Cool. I was hoping we would get another superpower. Alas, not. But I think I'm going to end off the video here. So hang on, let's at least wait until we're back in person. Come on, game.
Also just realised I've had this entire setup as purely the game. If you prefer just having the game on the screen to the face cam as well, then let me know and I'll leave it like this. Right, thanks for watching people. I will be seeing you all next time. Bye-bye.